Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I thought that I would pop in a couple of minutes early. I saw everybody over in the chat. I have what I can only guess is like hay fever or something. The pollen in South Carolina is horrendous. And so I'm yucky today. So if you hear me like sniffling or sneezing or grabbing for the tissue box, please forgive me. Okay. So um, that's what's going on this evening. Um, let's give you a little update on what's going to be coming up in the next few days. Wednesday through Monday. So Wednesday's live and Monday's live. I will not be around. Lisa, Melissa, and I are actually meeting up and getting together, which is fantastic. We are all so excited. I just will not be meeting with you guys. However, this is when we all get together and come up with the fabulous ideas for releases throughout the year. So that's what's going on. Um, Kelly is visiting South Carolina and still sneezing. I know. I worked out in the yard over the weekend and played a little basketball with my son in the driveway on Saturday. And now I have the sniffles. I have a, um, the sore throat, but I think it's because of the sinuses. And then I have been drinking Mucinex like it is my diet Dr. Pepper. So um, I'm here. We're all together. I feel fine other than like the yuckies, right? And it's just springtime. You got to get a, you got to do the springtime stuff, right? So, um, pollen, the pollen, my, my vehicle is yellow from the pollen and like rinsing off the sidewalks and like watering the plants and everything on the front porch. It, the pollen just is everywhere, which I mean, we love our bees and we want to take care of our plants and all those things. Right. But, oh, the pollen up my nose is not such a good thing. So happy springtime sinuses. Exactly. And so next week, uh, well, Wednesday, we um, oh, we are leaving Wednesday. Um, and then, so Wednesday night, I will not be here live. And then Monday night, I will not be here live. But next, a week from Wednesday, all back to normal. Um, maybe Lisa, Melissa, and I, I know. I, this is funny to me. Some sweet, some sweet little honeybee in our comments that watches showed me how to take those off. But honestly, I laugh so hard when some of them do that, that I've just left them off. It, uh, you guys know that I'm like a nutty nut. And so that's how we go. Hello, Don. Yes, I can't wait. So Lisa, Melissa and I are getting together to plan out releases, um, to talk all things honeybee stamps and things coming up in our 10th year. And so, um, lots to talk about. Maybe we can do like a little selfie or do a little fun or something like that. And just, um, I'll post it to like the challenge group or show you guys next week or whatever, but we're going to have a lot of much needed girl time, honeybee stamps time together. So, um, without further ado, we're going to go down. I'm going to do some ink blending with a new It's a Party stencils and the dies. And I'm going to show you how um, kind of the way that it was intended where you can do a whole background or use the dies and do like a whole different card. And so I'm going to go down to my desk view here and let's get started. So I'm going to start with a six by six inch sheet of white cardstock. It's going to be hard to see on this white map for just a second. But, you know, when I start putting our pretty colors on here, um, all the pretty stuff is going to show up. So this is that stencil set that has the whole party background. And again, it, it's going to look like a mess right now to you guys but it has the little cake and the cupcakes and the party hat and stuff like that and these are etched and numbered like all of our dies are but honestly you really don't even need to follow that i'm gonna look the who through here and follow. i'll be a rule follower tonight you guys know that i'm normally not the rule follower but um i'm gonna start on this now i'm gonna do this in rainbow colors um, 
and just go to town here. So I'm going to start out with red. This is actually lumberjack plaid. And I am just going to hit all my little open spaces here. And you're going to see these little images start to pop out and come to life. So there's a little candy. There's a party hat. There's cupcake. I think there's even some little like um, festive little flowers and leaves. There's candles. Um, just all kinds of fun little celebration things. And I'm just going to work my bristles down in here. Now, as I mentioned before, this is my brush that I use with Lumberjack Plaid. Those of you who are over in the chat, you guys know me and know that very seldom, unless I just absolutely have to, do I dip back into my ink. So it looks like right now we're going to get some pretty good coverage here with just what is on the bristles of my brush. And I like that, you know, some of it is going to be a little deeper and darker than other places. And that's fine. I left off a little, we don't want to leave off that little guy right there and that little guy right there. I want to make sure that all those little openings have color. And now we're looking pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to set that on the side. And I can set my brush aside. And then I'm going to grab stencil number two. Let me find it here. Three and two. All right. So if I lay with this one over, now you're going to start to see like the little piece of sliced cake is going to start coming out. Other little details that are in the full cake, the inset to the candy. So if you really want to pay attention to like what colors are going where, for example, if you don't want a blue cake or blue icing or whatever, you may want to pay attention. I am just doing um, like a rainbow. And so it's, it, it's going to be fine to me. I'm just going to do all the colors. Now this color is prized ribbon. So it's that really pretty, like true, um, almost royal blue. Again, I'm not going to dip in. I'm just going to use what is already on my brush because I kind of like that it's not super saturated. I kind of like that it's given me that almost a, like a dusty blue that is the same color that is in our paper pad. Now, I've seen in the comments and then I've gotten emails and things today through customer care that some of you are starting to get your release packages. So fun. I hope you are enjoying everything so far. And we did have lots and lots of birthday release orders. So if yours hasn't gone out yet, um, you know, give our warehouse team a couple of days to get those out to you. And this has been our biggest release in a while. Um, it has been super popular, which thank you guys so much. We appreciate you all. And we're so excited that you've loved all the birthday stuff and all the new lovely layers. And of course, we had Dawn's um, pretty uh, stamps and dies and stencils and all that good stuff. So we appreciate you. Okay, so we've got red and blue. And let's grab stencil number three, which is this one. And we're just going to keep working our way around. Now let's do, we've got red, we've got blue, and let's do, let's do, um, what do I want to do next? Mm, let's do orange next. I thought maybe yellow, but let's do an orange. Okay, make sure everything's kind of lined up. And you'll see that I've got everything uh, pretty butted up into this cor corner of the stencil mat. And so I'm going to do orange and hit those there. And I just move my fingers around to make sure that as I'm rubbing those bristles down through there, that it doesn't shift around too too much 
And then I'm going to move my fingers again and make sure that I've gotten everything all over. And I do want to go over that little candy one more time. And then if I pick that up, we've gotten a whole new layer. And then let's grab number four. Okay. And then let's see what we got there. Oh, lots of stars. We're getting the little swirls on the icing. Okay, so let's do, oh my goodness, let's do, I mm -mm -mm. think I'm going to do, let's do pink. All right, so this is picked raspberry, and I'm going to start all over. There's lots of little stars and lots of little pretty pieces of the icing and stuff to cover. So I'm going to work that all down in. And you'll notice I'm not being careful about this sliver of paper over here because I'm going to trim this whole background down. And this is where I'm going to have to dip in. So there's a lot of little stars and little things to cover and so I'm going to dip into the ink there we go and then when it looks like it's getting too light again I can pick up a little bit more and let's see let's make sure we've got all of our little background stars party stars and that's looking pretty good you see how it's all kind of all filling in now okay so pick raspberry and then we have stencil number five now this is the bottom layers of the cake this is the bows on the little presents and this is where i'm going to go yellow i may actually have to dip into my ink for this one too so let's get it ready. This is mustard seed, and I'm going to start out just like so. Yep, let's dip in a little bit. This is another cutesy one that if you wanted to use your little Belux blending, blending brushes, um, our new little detail brushes, and do... Let's say you wanted to do um, parts of it like one color and a, another little part, another color. Those little blending brushes are going to help you to kind of fit into the little nooks and crannies. Let's see here. Okay, now we've got yellow cake, yellow bows, and these are actually going to be the um, veins on little leaves. So let's put the yellow away. And our last one is going to be all the little finishing details. So it's going to be inside the icing, the wrapping for our gifts, and then the outside of the leaves. And this one is going to be green, and I chose mowed lawn. So it's a nice, bright, fun green. Let's see if we're going to have to dip back in. So, for example, let's do... Let me see here. Let's do one of our little Belux brushes. Let me kind of go in like this just a little bit. So, for example, like the little pom-poms on the hat. Let's say that I want to make those super duper dark, but I want everything else pretty light. I can go in kind of like this number and make those really bright in the mode lawn. Or the leaves, you can hit another color, and I can really dip in and just dab that on the little pom-poms of the hat. And then everything else I could take and give it kind of a once over. And if you're not dipping in super bright or super saturated with your ink, you're going to get almost like you're using two different ink colors instead of one. I like to do that a lot of times. So a lot of like the, the gift wrap paper on these little presents, 
they're almost going to look like a twisted citron instead of a mowed lawn because we're not adding in a whole bunch of pigment. But the pom-poms on the hat are going to turn out much darker and much more true to the mowed lawn ink pad because I really dipped in the ink pad with that little brush to cover those. Now, let's see what we've got here. Let's do a little pickup. If I can pick that up. There we go. And so we're getting lots of different colors of green. So you can see this one's a little bit lighter. That one's super saturated. We have here. And then if I wanted to add in like the leaves, you could make much brighter if you wanted to. And then so on and so forth. Okay. So let me set these aside. Let's pick this up. And then we have our whole background all finished. Okay, now I'm going to trim this down if I can find my paper trimmer here. And I am going to trim it down to um, four by five and a quarter. Now, let me say before I cut it down. Now, this is the point to where if you've got this, you've got it to where it almost looks like patterned paper. This is where if you were going to use the little coordinating dies to cut out the little pieces, this is where you would want to do that. So you could ink blend as many backgrounds as you want and either use it fully on a card just like this or you could cut them out. I have some cut out over here and I'm going to show you, you know, just one little idea on how you can use that. So First, I'm going to start by trimming off the um, just the excess on the sides because it's going to give me kind of a better look at the size that I want it. And then also, if there's any boo-boos in my ink blending, I like ditch that part. Do you see like where this like my little bristles kind of um, smudged right there. So if I don't want that, I can cut that part off. So let's cut it for this way. And that little gift that has the little boo-boo brush right there, I've trimmed that off. And then I'm going to trim it also to five and a quarter. Let's dump out my scraps there. And then now I've got my background all cut down and ready to go. So the dies, as I was mentioning, that will cut these, let me show you what you get when you cut them out. So we've got a little cake. We have the cupcake. We have the little candies. We have a little gift. We've got the piece of cake. And we've got a little party hat. And I'm going to make a whole second card to share with you just to give you a little idea on how you can use those little die cuts. Okay, so let's pop first our little homemade pattern paper. Let's pop it onto a card base. And this is red cardstock, so it's going to be really nice and bright and bold. Um back there behind that background. And then all I need to do to finish this off is I'm using this um, big birthday die set. It came with this scripty die and then the red kind of shadow background die you see here. And I did the red shadow the same that matches the cardstock and then added a mirrored silver mirrored cardstock back behind or on top, excuse me, for the happy birthday. And then we're just going to pop that on there and then wham, bam, bada bing, bada boom. That one is all finished and super easy. So one card all done. All right, so let's pull out our little die cuts now. 
All right, so for this one, I have used some of our pattern paper. And let's see here, I'm gonna actually see. So if you notice the color changing, I'm trying to adjust it a little bit, so. We can get a little more true to color. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's looking a little dingy this evening. Okay, if only I had a million dollars to have like a fancy crafty studio, right? Okay, so now I'm using green cardstock. We've got some little um, polka dots, like rainbow polka dots, and then we have the happy birthday down here. And then I use the same, like a scrap of that silver mirrored cardstock to do a strip between the two pieces of paper, rounded the corners, and then we're just going to pop this on our green card base. Okay. And then we have the same happy birthday um, dies, but instead of using the shadow or the background like I did on this one, we can use it just by itself. So the same die set, but we're getting a little bit of a different look because we're just going to pop it on just with the stacked words kind of like so okay and then we're gonna have all of our cutesy little ink blended die cuts that we can pop up you know here and there all right so i'm going to start out by adding a little bit of our liquid adhesive just in some little tiny dots just like so and I'm actually going to lay that about right there. And then I can kind of line this one up before we get it all set. Let's scooch it just a little bit. Oops. I'm going to hold that into place and let that, that little H is not wanting to stick. But we're going to add some more glue to him in a minute. And then some more little dots here. And then let's line this one up. And then I can just kind of, I'm going to hold it up and then I'm just going to fiddle with it just a little bit to kind of get it all stuck down. Not too shabby. Okay, now we've got this cute little happy birthday there. We're all coordinating together. And then now let's figure out what we want to do with our cutesy little stenciled die cuts. And so everything's going to match because I kind of did the rainbow color scheme like the paper pad. Maybe if you use your teacher voice on the H, it will stick. Um... Maybe. Who is that that said that? Debbie? Debbie, you must know me from... Okay, I'm going to have this one be kind of like up in here. And then some of them I might pop up. Some of them we might put down there. And then like this little guy, he can kind of come right down in there. We're just going to kind of trickle them along this little silver line here and then cake well we can't have cake on that side and then cake right there too let's add even i don't even mind you we got to get more tools we have to have more fingers here i don't even mind you kind of being overlapped like that 
Let's see how we're all going to play. No, I don't like you overlapped. We're going to overlap you like that. Do you all talk to your die cuts and your tools, or am I just the, the crazy cuckoo crafter lady? Or is it the cold medicine? Don't answer that if don't answer it if you say you're just the crazy one okay just be nice to me friends okay we're all just gonna be nice to kelly let's see what you're saying i talked to everything thank you okay not just me and i'm just going to keep we're just gonna keep popping on our cutesy little tidbits here okay we've got three popped up we've got this one we could even, one, two, three, four, five. We could even put a cutie one up in here. Yep. Okay, hold on. We're changing gears midstream. All right, let's see here. Welcome. Welcome. We've got newbies. I talk to anything that will listen. Hubby does it. Ugh, right. I know. My husband's in the other room. I can't talk very loud. He might hear me. I know. I don't know what it is about husbands or sons. My son doesn't listen either. Okay, we're going to pop that there. Okay, now I'm going to kind of call it like good because Kelly could like add all the sprinkles, all the glitz, all the little doodadders on this. And I'm kind of going to like, I think, like, some, um, what's that stuff called? Um, stickles. I think it's, like, some glittery stickles and some things or some little confettis or gems or all that would be, like, adorable on all these. But I at least wanted to show you how you could, like, use, do a whole background, use these. You could pop them up. You know, whatever we want to do, whatever we want to do to put together like a, a cutesy little birthday celebration, something. Let's see here. What are we talking about? Gretchen, all men don't listen. I know. Background is great. It's cute. And you guys aren't seeing the true colors. Like, I don't know how to hold it. It really is much brighter. I've got to work on my lighting. I had it good, and then I changed it for something. Thank you. This is the no makeup Monday crazy hair. Um, I changed it for the class or for something a couple of weeks ago, and it hasn't been right since. But, you know, we'll, we're all friends here. My package just arrived. Nothing's better. Oh, woohoo, Kelly. A humidifier is a must to help your stuff. Thank you, Vicky. You know, I think I've got some of those little um, shower things that um, make you breathe in all the like eucalyptus -y stuff. I'm going to have to do that. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Yes. Okay. So I got, I did two little cards tonight and I'm going to go steam my hay fever steamers. That's it. I prefer to a filter on the camera. No, it's, um, I don't, there's no telling. There's no telling. Mine is from a spring sale still in La La Land. Oh, no. Vicks Vapor Up. I know it clears all the things. All right. So, Lisa, let's, let's give our friends a giveaway. And then just a reminder that I will not be here live on Wednesday or Monday because Lisa, Melissa, and I are all going to be together. I am going to, oh, mercy, there we go. I am going to be trying to rest and take care of myself because, um, I have to get to, we've got things to do. All right, Miss Louisa, you are the winner tonight, my friend. So if you will email me at Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y at honeybeestamps.com, I'm going to hook you up with your prize. Um, I want to thank all of our friends um, who email me and are so, so sweet. I've gotten emails lately from Krista. I've gotten emails from Gretchen. 
nicest people ever. Thank you all for being so sweet. And um, yes, if you ever need me, you can email me here as well. If you ever have questions about your release or packages or any of that good stuff. Okay, my friends. All right. Have a run wonderful, wonderful week. And I will see you um, a week from Wednesday. And we're going to be planning all the things. You're just not even going to believe it. Okay. Thank you so much, my friends. Have a good rest of your week. Bye-bye.